oily skin is a very very common problem in our country and in fact i see so many patients on a daily basis suffering from the same issue now what is the reason for this india being a tropical country is always hot and humid almost throughout the year this causes quite a bit of an oil secretion in the skin and the pollution and stress levels also add to it but is this the only reason not really your genetics play a huge role in the amount of oil your skin secretes but this along with what you eat in your diet the stress levels even the amount of time that you're sleeping through the night do play a huge role in the amount of oil secreted in the skin now apart from all this you know a very very important reason is the use of skin care and cleansers especially to very frequently clean the skin ends up in fact doing the opposite for you that is it ends up stripping the skin of the good oil and ends up giving you a little more oil because the body fights back by giving more oil secretion in the skin so what i suggest for the oily skin is to use a cleanser which is ph balanced and is mild and make sure that the right amount of oil is taken out but also provides a good amount of moisturizing to the skin and you can also double this by using a very gentle moisturizer for oil control right after you wash your face Oily skin is generally prone to more acne and how does this really happen because in the oil glands in your skin the uh, the usual oil production especially in some weathers can increase because of reasons such as genetics or the diet or the stress as we already spoke now when this actually is a little too much the oil doesn't just moisturize your skin but ends up clogging your pores as well this along with the stress the dust the pollution and the exfoliated skin cells from your own skin end up blocking the pores constantly these block pores hence make the whole area of the oil gland a great space for the bacteria such as the cutibacterium acne to grow well now when these bacteria start multiplying in this area there is a lot of inflammation which happens hence you see those little black heads and white heads which then turn into these red spots in the skin right so the red acne once it starts coming in then becomes pustula and these are the various stages of acne that come in because of the over excess oiling of the skin The ideal cleanser for oily skin has to be a cleanser which doesn't just strip the skin of oil but takes away the excess oil without disrupting the skin barrier. Now, along with this, it has to be pH balanced and have a pH that is as close to the skin's pH as possible. Having ingredients like niacinamide which regulates the sebum while calming the skin and is anti-inflammatory as well as panthenol or pro vitamin B5 which also hydrates and moisturizes the skin are really useful in cleansers to make sure that the skin barrier is protected be it oily skin or dry skin every skin types needs a moisturizer and why is that because when you strip the skin of oil the body in turn tries to compensate by producing more oil so a moisturizer is essential to maintain not just the skin barrier but to also make sure that the right amount of moisturizing and oil is present in the skin start with your diet and you can start by reducing the high sugar content containing and the high glycemic foods in your diet now with sleep it's not enough just to sleep 8 hours or 7 hours a day but maintain regular sleep hours and go to bed early hydrate yourself well throughout the day and make sure that your exercise is part of your day at least an hour per day of workout is definitely going to help with your skin health as well whatever objects that you use commonly which are close to the skin like your pillow cases your phone cases or your phones and as well as your makeup brushes make sure you keep them clean and bacteria free oily skin isn't about eliminating your oil it is basically about using it wisely now make sure you're using the right cleanser don't skip your moisturizer and stay consistent with your skincare routine